What's going on everyone? This is Narrowland staff photographer Andrew Burke and today we're going to go over how to take pictures of the stars. So the only two things you need are a camera where you can manually control the settings, mainly the shutter speed, and a sturdy tripod. And that's all you need. You don't need any fancy equipment, any super expensive cameras. I'm shooting on a Sony a7R 3 which is definitely one of the higher end cameras for this kind of thing. But any camera where you can control the settings manually will be good to go. So the biggest variable you have to think about when you're shooting night skies is generally the shutter speed. I like to get started by shooting at a five second shutter speed and adjusting my settings from there. My ISO ranges from 3200 to 12,800. And especially if you're shooting on a beginner lens that maybe doesn't go down to a super low aperture, I like to keep my ISO at 6400 or 12,800 to get the shot that I'm looking for. It's a little bit noisy at that ISO, but you can generally work with it. And if you're taking a picture of the night sky, it tends to look pretty cool anyway. So as you can see, it's pretty much pitch black in front of the camera right now. Even on the Sony a7R 3 you're gonna have a long time for that camera to process the information into an image. But after a five second shutter speed, the image really comes to life. You'll also notice, even though you can see the stars, it pretty much looks like daytime. And that's the style you'll get when you're shooting on a full moon night. And if you're aiming for a crisp, clear image of the stars, it's important to leave your shutter speed not overly long, otherwise you can get star trails that look like this. That's from the actual movement of the stars through the night sky during your exposure. This is where higher end cameras that can handle higher ISOs come in handy for astrophotography. But you can combat this by using a fast aperture lens. You can also experiment with lighting the foreground like in this photo, which was lit with nothing more than an iPhone during a 15 second exposure. In my opinion, this is one of the most fun things to do in astrophotography. It's really all about just getting out there and experimenting with your settings and lights.